What's up guys in the Mega Galaxy Note 20 League Day has arrived. We have so much information to cover thanks to the one and only Ross Young. Yes, he is the new eyes to doers of Galaxy Note 20 Leagues. He leaked a lot of information on Galaxy Fold 2 and now it's the Galaxy Note 20. And of course the Galaxy Note 20 Plus rest in peace Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Yes, there will be no Galaxy Note 20 Ultra model. I talked about this in the previous video, a possibility of this happening. And now it seems like this is true there will be no ultra note model so that leaves us with the galaxy note 20 the note 20 plus and then a third model which is also a s pen powered beast but it's not what you're thinking it is the galaxy fold 2 yes the fold 2 will be that ultra model for the first time it's coming with the s pen sport so samsung is playing pretty genius here it's very likely that we won't see that 108 megapixel sensor on the note lineup now starting with the galaxy note 20 according to ross young that is display on Galaxy Note 20 will be 6.42 inch compared to the 6.3 inch display of the last year's Galaxy Note 10 model. There's also going to be a slight increase in the resolution so you're looking at 2345 by 1084 display, 404 ppi, 120 hz display with LTPO variable refresh rate so this is the next evolution of the 120 hz refresh rate. It will take less juice compared to the 120 hz display of the Galaxy S20 family. Now as for the Galaxy Note 20 Plus we also have an increase in the display size as well as the resolution. So the display is now 6.87 compared to the 6.8 inch of last year's Galaxy Note 10 Plus. There's also an increase in the resolution coming at 3096 by 1444. This is the highest resolution Samsung display that we have ever seen on a Samsung smartphone and that too with a 120Hz refresh rate with LTPO. So lower power consumption with the 120Hz display because of the variable refresh rate. I hope Samsung makes the software optimization on point. And then again, there's no ultra model that is replaced by Galaxy Fold 2. Of course, Fold 2 won't be costing $1,500. It's most likely going to cost the same as last year's model. But wait, there is a epic good news. According to Max Weinbeck, Samsung is working on a more affordable version of the Samsung Galaxy Fold second generation. According to the rumors, Samsung is planning on releasing a Galaxy Fold E for the price of $1,100 which is absolutely crazy because this is going to be the cheapest foldable flagship phone from Samsung. The rumor further says that in total there will be three foldable smartphones. One of them will be the absolute high end that will use the ultra thin foldable glass of the Galaxy Z Flip whereas the other two models are said to have plastic panels such as the original Galaxy Fold which is why they're gonna cost less. So the price that is mentioned is as low as $1,100. That's actually super damn crazy. If Samsung actually pulls this off it's going to be an incredible competitor to the upcoming iPhone 12 lineup. Also DxO Mark has released the scores for the Galaxy S20 Plus. We have a camera score of 118 that is slightly above the iPhone 11 Pro Max but not at the level of some of the Chinese phones from Huawei. So yeah again whether you care about them or not here is what they have to say uh, regarding the conclusion of the Galaxy S20 Plus camera test. Uh, let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. So yeah that's all the news that we have right now i am super excited for a affordable galaxy full model and also do let me know your thoughts on the galaxy note 20 phone no ultra model means there won't be a 108 megapixel setup plus 100x zoom so probably samsung will not gonna use that again they're probably gonna improve the current camera setup of the s20 and s20 plus for the note 20 and note 20 plus as always fold 2 is coming as well super exciting stuff for the second half of the year drop your comments and i'll see you guys in the next one Peace out.